Hey, it's Joe Crump. Uh, this question is, hey Joe, how do I find and buy off-market properties? Uh, we all know that it's pretty easy to find properties on the MLS, the multiple listing service, uh, if the market is in a place where you can do that. Uh, in 2008, 2009, 11, you know, 10, 11, 12, uh, we were able to go into the MLS uh, and uh, put in our uh, criteria of the type of property that we're looking for uh, in the areas that we wanted. And uh, the day that they came in the market, uh, it would spit them out at us and they'd say, here's a property that fits those criteria. We'd look at it, we'd make an offer on it. Uh, usually at the beginning of that process, uh, we'd get everyone that we made an offer on. And often we would uh, we would uh, offer something close to that price because the price that they were asking was substantially below market value. Uh, as time passed and more people started to realize, hey, there's a lot of good deals on the market right now, maybe I should get into that, uh, we started getting one in three deals. Uh, and that happened for a few years. We'd get one in three, one in four that we made offers on, and we'd be offering full price. We wouldn't typically offer much more than full price, uh, but we'd offer full price, or if we thought that the deal made sense, we, sometimes we would uh, offer a little bit less. Uh, but uh, after a while, uh, as the market started to get a little bit better, uh, it was harder and harder. Uh, so when those properties came on the market, which were fewer and farther between, uh, more people were making offers on them. So now it was one in eight, one in nine, one in 10 that we'd make offers on that we'd get, uh, we, even though we were offering full price and doing it the day it came on the market. Because uh, the second day, they, they, typically what they would do is send us back a note saying, you know, send us your highest and best offer. Uh, we got several, um, you know, several offers on this property. And of course, the listing agent wants to sell it to their person most of the time because those were just good deals. Uh, so we didn't get as many of them that way. So we had to find other ways to find those properties. And to do that, you have to go off market to make that happen. Properties that not very many people know about. Uh, so you have to be able to dig them up. You have to find them. And that's one of the ways that we used the auto marketer. Uh, the auto marketer will help us find properties of people that are listing them for sale by owner. Uh, and uh, one of the things you find with for sale by owners is uh, the property that they're selling for sale by owner may not be the deal uh, that you want. Uh, that may not be the best deal that you want, but you want to be able to get a conversation with those people because a lot of them are real estate investors or a lot of them have other properties uh, to sell. Uh, some of them have whole portfolios to sell. And you can find one of those one of those people, they may be selling one property, but they've got five other properties they wouldn't mind getting rid of. Uh, they just haven't done the rehab on them, they're in bad shape, they're tired of them, uh, and they'll work with you to get them financed, to get them sold, uh, and you can buy properties and find properties that way through the for sale by owner section because a lot of investors are working using that um, you know Craigslist and, and Zillow to sell their properties. Um, the other source of leads that we'll go after are expired listings, people that have put their properties on the market, on the MLS, it's been on the market for six months or 12 months, didn't get sold, and their listing with their real estate agent expired. Uh, and you can buy those lists, uh, and then you can take those lists and you can import them into the auto marketer. Uh, and the auto marketer is set up so it can send, if you have their phone number, you can send them a text message, or you can send them a voice blast message, or you can send them a postcard. It's also set up so it can automatically send a postcard. So if I import a list of expired listings, I can send out postcards or a, or a yellow letter or um, uh, you know self uh, mailers. Uh, we've got you know a couple dozen different types of mailers that all say something along the lines of "We buy houses" and uh, different types of "We buy houses" postcards and large ones and small ones and all types of things. So if you have that list that's in there, you can click a couple of buttons and the service that takes care of those postcards will send out all those postcards for you. Now, sending postcards uh, can get expensive. You're going to spend, you know, close to a buck a piece. We're competitive with all the other, you know, places that sell those, uh, but uh, it's still an expensive lead generating process. If you use the auto marketer to get for sale by owners, you're going to spend, uh, you know, 20 cents for a lead. Uh, if you... Uh, do it with postcards, you're going to send, spend, you know, 20 to 40 to 80 dollars per lead. Uh, so much, much more expensive uh, if you're doing snail mail over uh, doing uh, text, uh, text marketing. 
Uh, you can also, if you don't have cell phone numbers for people, but you have landline numbers, you can send them voice blasts. So you can create a voice blast that says, hey, I'm interested in buying uh, your property, uh, rent to buy, or uh, buying it on terms. I'm an investor. If you're interested, please give me a call. And uh, you'll get responses on that. You'll get fewer responses on that type of ad than you will of, of if you just go to for sale by owners and say, uh, would you be consider selling your home rent to buy? That's the response, right? That's the message that you're going to get the most responses uh, for. And if you can get those responses, then you can get them on the phone and you can uh, design a deal that makes sense uh, for that particular uh, lead. So, um, so for sale by owners, expired listings, and then absentee owners is another source of leads that you can buy. Uh, and sometimes you can only get the addresses and you have to do postcards, uh, same with expireds. Uh, but sometimes you can get their phone numbers as well. Uh, there's a lot of companies out there like Melissa Data that uh, has an append service that allows you to also ask for the phone numbers. Or you could have a VA go in there and go into the white pages and find phone numbers for all of these uh, properties and for property owners uh, and do it that way. And then you can do a voice blast out to those people or a text blast out to those people uh, and do marketing. And the way the automarketer is set up, it does a sequence of marketing messages. So on day one, uh, and it's designed uh, for the for rent method. Uh, and we've got a couple of different campaigns, uh, but I suggest you use the three month um, for rent method campaign. The reason is it, it gets the most responses, uh, which you want, uh, because you can develop those leads. Uh, it also sends them a series of messages that have different uh, different asks. So the first one is, would you consider selling your home rent to buy? Uh, the second one, same thing, except this time it gives them a link to a website that explains how you work and how that rent to buy process works and, and how you would buy from them and how they would make money and how, how that whole process works. It sells them on the idea. And it has a form on that page that they can fill out. And if they fill out that form, uh, they're very likely going to work with you. Uh, it also, if they fill out that form, it sends them the lease option memo, which if they fill that form out, then you've got the deal. They're, they've already, you've done it without even talking to them. And that happens sometimes, but not as often as the people that you talk to. Uh, so uh, it goes through this process. And then on day seven, it sends them another message. And on day, uh, and we've got uh, two other websites uh, that it also sends them to over this three month period. Uh, you know, every few days, every six, seven days, it's going to send them another text message and uh, it's going to send them a link uh, to a, a site that says we will buy. Uh, and you go to wewillbuy.com to see what that site looks like. If you want to look at the one, the first one, the one about the, uh, uh, the um, uh, for rent method, uh, go to buyersforyourhouse.com. That's the clone site that comes with the automarketer, or one of the clone sites that comes with the automarketer. Wewillbuy.com is the second one. Uh, another one is the subject to uh, uh, website. I will also have the listing site that shows what you've got for sale. Uh, so you can see all these different uh, websites. Uh, and uh, it happens through a marketing process that happens over time. So people that have had their properties uh, for sale uh, as expired listings or as for sale by owners, uh, they may not be ready to go the first time you contact them. But maybe a few days later they are, maybe a week after that, maybe a month after that, maybe three months after that, uh, when they finally get tired of doing the process the way they're doing it and doing the things that don't work. One of the things we know about for sale by owners is they want to sell their property. They are motivated sellers. It's just a matter of uh, <laughs> the, the big problem is they've uh, chosen a way to sell their property that doesn't work. We know that 85 to 95 percent of for sale by owners don't succeed with the sale. They end up either taking it off the market or listing it with a real estate agent. Uh, so if, the, if you're a real estate agent, by the way, uh, going after for sale by owners uh, as an investor is a great way to get them to talk to you because that's another option that you can give them uh, in this process. Uh, it, uh, I used to get a lot of my, uh, my listings as a real estate agent when I was a top producing real estate agent. Uh, I used to get them uh, through for sale by owners. Uh, so uh, it's a great source, uh, but I would suggest that you try to do them as investment properties before you do them as listings because you'll, they're easier to do, you'll make more money at it, uh, and there's potential that you can actually keep those properties and build a portfolio uh, for the big money uh, over the long term. Anyway, that's how you find and, uh, 
and put those types of properties together and the type of lead sources to go after. There's other lead sources out there that you can go after, but those are the top, my, my top three. And I think they're, uh, they'll keep you busy and you can do them all over the country. There's lists like this that you can do this all over the country. All right. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, go to joecrumpblog.com and uh, sign up for my free newsletter. Uh, go to pushbuttonautomarketer.com. That's the automation software that brings in these types of leads uh, and can work with these types of leads. And when you, uh, by the way, with those those leads that uh, you buy, the expired listing leads or the uh, absentee owner leads, uh, you can import uh, CSV files into the automarketer so it can send out uh, to these people and keep track of them for you. And then, of course, uh, check out my um, mentor program, which is zerodowninvesting.com. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care.